Well, hey guys, a very big happy Friday. Welcome to episode 216 of OPTV. Uh, we're here at Marlborough Street, Henley Beach at Oz Properties' new sister office that's opening up in a few months. Uh, the guys have been working exceptionally hard this week and uh, very excited uh, about the new office opening up in a few months' time. So happy April Fool's Day. There was a couple of pranks at the office earlier today, Nick. <laughs> Um, but uh, guys, talking South Australian real estate, obviously some great stats at the moment with 90% clearance rate. Uh, that's from 108 auctions selling uh, and of course 448 properties selling in the last week. Now we've just come through the month of March, of course the fringe has been and gone, Easter's around the corner, certainly a very exciting time in Adelaide real estate market. So this week's feature property, number nine, Sims Street in beautiful Henley Beach South. Nick and Matt list the absolute cracking home, uh, boasting four bedrooms, two bathrooms. The perfect family lifestyle in encapsulated by this double brick home is fully renovated and extended to provide serene spaces steeped in luxurious comfort. In a private leafy setting, this generous home on 749 square metres is an easy walk from Linear Park, the beach, local reserves, and of course, Henley Primary School. Other new releases this week, 817 Torrens Road, Alberton. It's on three titles. This rare land offering represents a significant opportunity for the street developers. It incorporates over a thousand square metres of land, an incredible opportunity of purchasing in such a great area, neighbouring West Lakes and Severfall Park. Other new properties, number 12, Torrens Avenue, Lockley, steeped in luxury, these four bedroom house and land packages boasting imposing facades, feature filled interior design, unrivaled indoor outdoor living. Other properties we have, 11 Bermuda Avenue, Westlake Shore, a wonderful two bedroom property, recently renovated. Um, 103 Fletcher Road in uh, Peterhead, many more properties guys, head our website for more info. March was a really strong month for sales, with some outstanding auction campaigns, some very happy buyers and sellers, with some uh, going to April, some fantastic new properties hitting the market. Last night at Shark Park, Channel 9 News crossed live, the Oval was absolutely full of ex very excited kids uh, for the new season of football opening 2022. Uh, very proud sponsors, a fantastic community event, lots and lots of fun. The news this week, there was an earthquake felt from Mount Barker through to Hallow Cove. That was on Tuesday night. Nearly 2,000 people reported feeling the tremor from West Beach through to Hallow Cove and beyond. Originating 10 kilometres below ground, it rippled outwards and registered by a recording station in Western Australia over 1,000 kilometres away. The federal budget this week released, Scott Morrison said, more renters will be able to buy a new home. Prime Minister Scott Morrison believes more renters will be able to buy a new house as a result of first home buy incentives revealed at the federal budget. But industry bodies have slammed the announcements as inadequate, stating low income renters and those facing homelessness have never been left behind. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg on Tuesday announced additional supports for first home buyers under expansion of the home guarantee scheme along with a two billion funding for affordable housing. The best way to support people who are renting a house is to help them buy a house, Mr Morrison said during the interview on Nine News on Tuesday. As obviously there's a lot to get through. We're gonna look at next week the top five takeaways from the budget and what it means for you in 2022. This week in Property Management, we caught up with Sav for all the latest. Let's go see what she had to say. Hi everyone, and welcome to the property management segment of this week's OPTV episode. So property management has been seeing some great results lately. We recently had Unit 3 slash 13 Baker Street in Grange, which had over 60 registered inquiries and 40 applications received, ensuring a quick turnaround time for my open inspection and securing a tenant. And just last week, we had Unit 2, 105 Spring Street in Queen Town, which had over 150 registered inquiries and also even more people in attendance at the open inspection. This one has just now been leased, but it's a great result for the property management team. Coming up soon, next week, we have two new properties, amazing properties hitting the market, so keep an eye out for those. 
And this just shows that if you are a landlord or a homeowner with a similar property, one to two bedrooms, low maintenance and easy convenience and location, then please get in touch with us because we're seeing great results for these type of properties lately. Thanks guys. So guys, what's on locally? We've got April Forks Day on tonight from 5 p.m. through to 10 p.m. That's at Lockley's Oval to kick off the Westerville event series. Fork on the Road is partnering up with City West Torrens for the annual Fork in the West, AKA April Forks Day. This event kicking off in the City West Torrens, the Westerville series, which will also be bringing across various parks and venues in the West. The Fork Bar will also be serving a variety of local wines, beers, and mixes. Much to our delight, five local artists will also be taking to the stage throughout the evening. This obviously sounds like a great event. If you're uh, around the place Friday night, head to Lockleys Oval and click the link for more information about upcoming events. That's it from us this week. We hope you have a great weekend. Remember, if you're thinking property, think Oz property. Let's talk.